So, an Advent spiral is usually celebrated on the first Sunday of Advent, in Christmas time, and is a time of preparation towards the lead up to Christmas. So the Advent spiral is created by using lots of beautiful greenery and evergreens and we create a beautiful spiral and right at the centre of the spiral there is a candle and that represents the light within each one of us, the light of creation. And with an Advent spiral every child will walk this spiral with holding an apple and they'll walk all the way into the spiral, all the way to the center, where they will light the candle whilst walking to the beautiful music that John will play with his harp guitar. And yeah, it's an opportunity to, for each child to really connect to that moment, that source of life, that creation, and to journey through the seasons together. So it's important to use a space that is large enough to host everybody and for example if you have a village hall or in your local area or if you have got a school hall then it's a beautiful space to close the windows, close the curtains and make the space fully dark or as dark as possible to really create that um, ambience of midwinter and you may want to set up your chairs, make a big chair, big circle of chairs and just have the ground cleared as cleared as possible. We will be setting up a spiral on the ground so it's important to have a clear ground where we can set up all the greenery and all the mosses to make a beautiful spiral for the children to walk. So the children will be walking into their room which had been darkened and where the mood has been created to make it very welcoming and something interesting and special, different than what they are used to be in that space. Uh, there will be a circle of chairs, one per child, and there will be a beautiful spiral in the middle made with beautiful fur and evergreens and mosses with a pillar candle in the middle. Um, as the children walk into the room following the teacher and they will all find a place to sit and while they come into the space John will be playing some very beautiful uh, beautiful music uh, that he creates with the beautiful harp guitar and he will create that space of stillness, that time of really going inwardly and I can guarantee this going to be a very beautiful experience for them to walk into and for them to receive. So once the children are sitting down and everyone is settled, I will stand up and walk the spiral and give them a gesture that they can follow and imitate. Um, so I will walk into the middle of the spiral with my apple, I will light the candle and I will also walk the spiral back to model and role model how to walk safely with the spiral while holding the apple and I will place my apple somewhere in the spiral. And then following that I will invite the teacher to do the same so the children have also another role model to follow and there will be an opportunity for the children to see that happening again and then following that we will invite the children to walk the spiral one by one and as each child walks the spiral I will be supporting and holding the space for if there was any child that needed a bit more help or support I will then walk into that spiral and give them that necessary support. So the beauty of the Advent Spiral is that you can really feel that increase and decrease of the light. And it really symbolically represents that midwinter time, the darkest time of the year when it's that time when the days are shorter and the nights are longer. 
So by walking into this space that we've created where the ambience is dark and where there's only one little light shining, the invitation is for the children to really receive that image of what the sun, what nature does around us all the time. And it's an invitation to really tune in into that journey of the light. And bit by bit, candle by candle, child by child, the light, the room will get lighter and brighter. And I can say there is a very beautiful, beautiful experience for the children to really witness that change of the light and the flickering flames of the candles. And it's a real invitation of really, yeah, receiving that golden light that shines so bright. So every year, as a kindergarten teacher, I used to do this for my children in my kindergarten. And often the parents will also come and join us in this festivity. And it's also, it's always been really treasured by the children, even the ones who sometimes struggle to concentrate and to focus. There's an anticipation in this participation that really brings a sense of calmness, a sense of groundness, and a sense of being seen as an individual. And it's a really beautiful opportunity to really give children uh, trust and responsibility, to trust that they are going to be safe walking that spiral with that candle, and to give them that responsibility of holding that light in their hands. And yeah. I think as a teacher you'll be surprised to see your, each one of your children in a new light. And you can get to learn a lot from each individual. This is also an opportunity for the children to learn about fire safety. And it's an opportunity for them to really learn to self-regulate their own energy and enthusiasm as children are. Um, so I invite to be part of your class before the children come into the space and I would like to come and greet the children and introduce myself to them to make it as familiar as possible for them but also an invitation for them to be part of creating golden, golden rules around safety, around candles and around spirals and yes for me it's important that the children are part of that process for them to understand what is required of them so that they can really feel the anticipation and feel the part, being part of that participation as well. So I will be coming into your class, greeting them, saying, welcoming them all into the space and I will be inviting them to help me to create a list of golden rules that we can all help each other to remember. And in that way, I hope that is a way to support the teacher to also feel, um, yeah, for it to feel safe in the space and to feel that she's got the support that she needs to create the safe boundaries for the children to be part of. Um, during these occasions, it's important for the children to sit in their own place. And if there is any child that struggles with that, there will be an invitation for the teacher to find other supportive people, perhaps some um, TAs that could come and join her for the day, or perhaps uh, some parents can also be invited to have some adults in the ratio of children. I really want class at the time, just because if you have got two classes at one time, then it means they have to wait longer. And it takes however long it takes to, for the children to walk the spiral. Usually it's about a minute per child. So if you count, if you have got 30 children, it will be between 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So by the end of the spiral, uh, once all the children have walked all around the spiral, uh, we will see the beautiful spiral all fully lit and you will see the incredible gift of 
seeing the change of the life, child by child. So by the end of it, once the spiral is fully lit, um, the children will follow the teacher on the way out. And when they look at it, we'll all stand up for a moment and look at the spiral and then follow the way out, towards the, uh, follow the teacher. And that the invitation is to leave that image in the children's hearts and minds. Yes, there could be an invitation for adults. Uh, it's often the case that adults really seek to find an opportunity to come and walk that spiral. And it's a very soul-reaffirming experience that can really help people to give the strength and the light that they need to endure whatever challenges they are facing. So it's a really beautiful invitation for adults and staff members to come and join the spiral in the evening. My invitation for you is to come and join in this beautiful celebration that I am 100% sure there's going to be a real gift and treasure for each one of those children and families and teachers to receive.